Hey guys, I've got my May Carnivore Club box here. I'm um, pretty excited about this. I was looking at some sneak peeks on their Facebook page. Um, and they actually sent jerky this time, so got some jerky to go through with you guys. Um, just in case you're wondering what Carnivore Club is, it is a $55 a month prescription subscription that uh, it's Canadian based. They have a Canadian market and a US market. They're completely different boxes, so this is the US box. Um, and uh, they basically aim to send you different varieties of meat to try. It's mainly cured meats, um, but as you can see, they sent me a bunch of jerky. Last time it was um, some salami, which uh, I would argue doesn't last as long as obviously jerky typically does, hence that's what jerky is originally made. But um, I'm going to try this out. Um, they, they aim to send you premium meats, so it's not going to be like something you can go down to the store and pick up. So if I think it's about equivalent to what you can run down at Walmart and buy. Um, I will tell you, so uh, you guys don't spend your money on a box and just waste your time. All right, so let's go ahead and crack into this monster. All right, so just so you know, they sent me um, four packages of jerky. Um, I don't know how many ounces they are a piece. It doesn't specify, but I mean the box is is pretty heavy, and you guys can see. I'll show you guys about how much meat's in all of them. Um, they sent me four meats. Uh, two different types of chicken jerky, two different types of beef jerky, and uh, it comes from Crazy Horse. And uh, they are based in Berks County, Pennsylvania, and it says that they use 100% natural USDA choice certified bottom round beef. Um, it's preservative free, and they smoke it uh, in batches using maple and fruit woods. So, uh, one of the, th of the cool things about this, it argue that it should be paired with uh, hot sauce, so they're advertising another service's uh, hot sauce. Just keep on coding there for 15% off their hot sauces, which um, I will share with you guys. It's Elix15. That's the website if you guys hopefully can see it. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tr try this stuff out. So first off, we've got the Crazy Horse Original Smoked Jerky. That's it right here. Um, pretty hefty bag of stuff. So. Uh, Okay, nice thick piece of jerky. Um, the fact that they advertise that they smoke their meat, I mean, it's pretty apparent that they do smoke their meats, and it's it's a nice change to the fake smoke flavor that's sometimes added in cheaper beef. But um, I mean, other than the smokiness, there's not too much flavor to it which is good, it lets the beef speak for itself, but it also is bottom round roast. So um, not a type of meat that typically just melts in your mouth, it's also beef jerky. But not too hard, not too chewy, um, it only has a little bit of pepper on it, which is also nice for those of you who really don't like peppered beef. Um, and obviously heavily salted, since it is beef jerky. Um, that, one's, that one's actually pretty good, uh, compared to regular beef jerky that you can find elsewhere. So next we have the original chicken jerky. So just to give you guys a heads up um, on here, uh, the Crazy Horse is trying to fill, it says they're trying to fill in the gap of where turkey jerky just couldn't uh, satisfy. I've never heard of chicken jerky at all. Um, where I'm from in California, I've basically grown up on turkey jerky or beef jerky. I've never seen any uh, chicken jerky. I, t I actually like turkey jerky, so their argument is this is better, so uh, I'm excited to see if that, that holds true. So the chicken definitely absorbs the smoke flavor a lot more than the beef did. It's got a lot more smoky flavor. The nice part is, is that, again, it's a thick piece, but it's relatively moist still, so it's easy to chew on. I actually like this a lot. Alright, so next they uh, have the Cajun. Uh, turkey jerky, 
not going to hold it up too long since it's probably going to drip all over, but um, it says moderate heat. So you guys know, I'm typically the person that I like about moderately heat. I don't want to taste my mouth burning when I'm eating food, um, but sometimes I like a little spice, especially with sweetness mixed in. So um, the other part is that they use, uh, I forgot to mention, they use chicken breasts and I believe chicken tenderloin to make uh, a lot of their beef jerky. So I would argue this probably is more tenderloin because of the long pieces of beef here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's try this out. This jerky is a lot tougher for some reason than the other chicken jerky. I don't know why. But, yeah, it's definitely not as moist as the original chicken jerky, but Cajun spices are really good. Adds a nice flavor to beef jerky that you typically don't find um, in normal places is Cajun, and I usually like Cajun flavor. It's got enough character to it to add to the meat um, and just add a little bit of character on top of the flavor of the meat. So um, this is actually really good. The only complaint I have is just that the meat's a, a little bit tougher than the uh, regular chicken jerky. So lastly, we have their steakhouse. So their steakhouse is one of the, when they were trying, I guess, to try out different types of meat uh, flavors. They wanted to get something close to like a steak with steak sauce on top of it. I typically hate steak sauce. Um, I mean, I like the flavor, but I just don't put it on my meat because I'm a big fan of letting the meat speak for itself with just a little bit of hint of uh, flavoring to it and uh, steak sauce usually detracts from that. So, um, anyways, they said that this is uh, supposed to be like a steak with steak sauce on it. Uh, it also is apparently supposed to go with a dark beer, which I normally would be drinking right now, but uh, my homebrew is not fully set up yet, so my nitrogen's out, but uh, we'll try this out. You know what, they did not do bad on that at all. That is... If I was to put, if I was forced with a gun to put steak sauce on my meat, it's about as much as I would put on is about what it tastes like. So, it doesn't taste like it's slobbered or barbecue sauce or anything. It's just got a nice little smoky hint of barbecue sauce to it. Um, and just a little bit of sweetness. So. That, that actually really impressed me. So, going back over all of this, um, got four different types of jerky, all that I've never tried before, all that I think is better than what I could buy in the store. The question is, could I buy maybe beef jerky better than this uh, for $55 and get more of what I liked? Well, first of all, there were none of them that I just absolutely did not like, which was nice. But, arguably, um, <clears throat> I could probably get a variety pack of this amount of meat, which, again, it doesn't tell me how much meat it is, unfortunately, uh, for about $40. Um, so, if you assume you're paying about $15 in between shipping, then to go out and find everything, I mean, I, I see where that, <clears throat> that money goes. Um, again, I signed up for the service mainly to show you guys what you could get if you decide to sign up for Carnivore Club, um, but also just to try some new things because I live in a place where I have Walmart and that's it. So um, this is way better than anything I could could have found in the store. So I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm actually going to check out Crazy Horse and kind of see like what this would come out to, and I'll actually post it in the comments below or the description of the video below. Uh, but Anyways, overall, I'm happy with the box, um, but I wouldn't argue it was worth my $55. So if you guys would like to sign up for Carnivore Club, 
you can click on the subscription link below or sign up for more of my videos by clicking on the subscribe link below. Um, also, if you guys have any more questions about any of the Carnivore Club that you'd like me to answer for you, I'm more than happy to do that. I also contact the customer service for you if you have a more in detail question than what I can answer. Um, also, if there's any other boxes you want me to check out, because like I said, this is the second Carnivore Club that I've got. Um, I'm trying to expand and get a few more boxes um, for most of the guys out there that want to see what's in it before they spend their money on something. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, whatever, leave it below. Thanks.